Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install for DM on dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home lab, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So... Let's get back to your registered programming. So this will be installed today, Linux server for DM. Uh, this is a desktop app that helps you manage uh, and organize all the favorite apps you like, like Discord and other things like that. Um, you'll be able to run this directly on your dockage though, and uh, you won't have to run it on your actual computer. Um, so it, it makes it to where you can have a sidebar over on the left, and then you can pick which apps you want in the sidebar. So that's what we'll be installing today. So this is what a little bit more about what it's about is all, all services in one place built by the community. Um, this is what it looks like a sidebar and you can add all your services in one place for quick and easy access and never search your, uh, your tabs or bookmarks again. So workspaces and much more. So that's what will be installed today. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm gonna go over the search right here, I type in fur, and then it should come up with how to install Ferdium on dockage. So, now I'm going to go into Docker Compose. So, version 3 of Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Ferdium. And then, um, the image is coming off of Linux server, and the latest tag. Container name is going to be called Ferdium. And then, security opt. Uh, this di uh, disables a kernel secure, uh, secure computing mode, which can be needed for certain applications, but re reduces the security. So just so you know, it does reduce the security. Um, environment va variables. So the user ID and the group ID, a thousand and a thousand. The time zone, I would say your own time zone here. And then a volume is set. So uh, the for dam config is a local volume that's defined right here. And then on the right side is the container, so config. Do, do not change the right side. And then now a port mapping for 3000 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then 3001 on the host over here. Um, so the left side is the host, the right side is the container. Do not change the right side. So, so the allocated uh, uh, sh shared memory is one gigabytes, and then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop for re any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I define the vo vo volume down here for the config. So now I'm going to go up here to copy raw file. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go up to Compose right here. I'm going to type a, a, a stack name in, and then stack. So... Now I'm going to come over to the editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker and post I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then I'm going to say deploy. What that done is it downloaded the Docker uh, images off the registries, got it extracted, and got it up with Docker Repose underneath because this does use the Docker engine to run. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the um, dockage UI. So on the home page is active, exit, and inactive. Gives you a quick stats of what your uh, stacks over here are doing. So I'm going to go in the stack. You, you have your actions up here. You can go in and edit the Docker Compose. And you can also edit the Docker Compose over here in the UI. Um, you, you can add a new service underneath the services. There we go. It's added underneath the services right here. So that's a quick way to add a service. And then now you can just delete it. Um, 
you can uh, go up here and ha have actions so, so you can de uh, deploy your changes. You can save your changes, stop an inactive, and then discard your changes. You can add URLs down here. You can set environment variables, uh, internal networks, and external networks down here. Um, I'm going to discard the changes. So you can restart the stack. You can update the current tags and then stop and then stop an inactive and then delete the stack. Now you have your containers down here. So you can go to the UI by clicking the ports. You can also go into the cont container. There, uh, there we go. You can switch to SH2. And um, you can go back in the stack. You can see the logs down here. Gr great for debugging. And you can see a read-only version of the Docker Impose over here. Mm -hmm. And if you want to edit it, you just go in the edit button right here. So that's a little bit about uh, Dockage. So now we're going to go in the UI. So um, if you go into the for DM stack and you go to the ports right here, you'll see 3000. So I'm going to click it. So now it's running in Chasm BNC standalone uh, workspaces. So um, you can see that we well, have the screen right here. So I'm going to use for DM without an account. So now you can get started and you can add your services here. There's Discord, Gitter, Gmail, Google Calendar. So I'm going to click Discord, and then you can see uh, some settings down here. So I'm going to just set, save the service. Now it's over in the left right here. So you can just um, go to Telegram now, and you can save the service. And now it's over here again. And um, you can go to Gmail and save the service. And now it's over here. So you can cl close out of here. And you can get to these different services uh, easy by looking at the uh, left sidebar right here. You can also come down here and add a new service, the same screen that we were on. And you can open in the, uh, the workspaces, so you can create a new workspace. Um, you can disable notifications. You can go to downloads. And you can go to settings. And there's quite a few settings. I go to services, appearance, privacy, language, advanced, and then updates. So um, you can also go over here to the Chasm BNC settings. So you can go to a drag viewport, keys, clipboard, full screen, game cursor mode, set, set settings, and then keyboard shortcut, string quality, um, advanced. You can completely disconnect from the VNC and then you can go back into it. Um, you can close this workspaces by clicking that button again. So uh, that's how to get FurDM working on Dockage. So I just went over step by step on getting FurDM working on Dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.